Is there a sanctuary in heaven? Let us open our Bibles today in the second book of the Old Testament, Exodus, and open it in chapter 25, and I'm going to read verses 8 and 9. I'm reading from the New King James Version Bible. And God said to Moses, And let them make me a sanctuary, that I may dwell among them, according to all that I show you, that is, the pattern of the tabernacle and the pattern of all its furnishings. Just so you shall make it. God was instructing Moses to build a sanctuary according to the pattern that God will show Moses. Now, you might be asking a question, what is a sanctuary? The sanctuary, according to these verses that we read, is actually the dwelling place of God. So that God, through that, that sanctuary, will symbolize or represent His place on earth. And Moses was given a pattern. Now remember, Moses was just copying what God has shown him. And so, a sanctuary can also be called a tabernacle or a temple. Or, in some instances, the, the definition of sanctuary could be extended to a place of refuge where innocent uh, people can find refuge or those who have not, who have accidentally killed someone can find a refuge. And so let us understand that God instructed Moses to build a sanctuary and according to what God will show him. Now this is the earthly sanctuary where God uh, had a dwelling place with his people, the Israelites. And so it is very clear that God had instructed Moses to build a sanctuary. Let us now go to the New Testament. Hebrews chapter 9. Briefly, we're going to um, read what Paul, I believe that it was Paul who wrote Hebrews chapter 9, ver chapter 9 verse 11. But Christ came as high priest of the other good things to come with a greater and more perfect tabernacle not made with hands, that is, not of this creation, not with the blood of goats and calves, but with his own blood, he entered the most holy place once for all, having obtained eternal redemption. For if the blood of bulls and goats and the ashes of heifer, sprinkling them clean, sanctifies for the purifying of the flesh how much more shall the blood of Christ who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to God cleanse your conscience from dead works to serve the living God and for these reason he is the mediator of the new covenant by means of death for the redemption of the transgression under the first covenant that those who are called may receive the promise of the eternal inheritance. What these verses are saying is that when Moses erected the, tabor, uh, the sanctuary that God instructed him to do, it was to educate or to show to God's people that in order for their sins to be forgiven, there should be the remissions. Uh, the remission of sin is by shedding of blood, meaning to say some an innocent lamb without blemish needs to be sacrificed as a symbol that one day uh, the Messiah, the anointed or Christ, will come to shed his innocent blood for the sins of God's people. And so the Old Covenant Sanctuary was fulfilled in the New Covenant Sanctuary through the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. 
John calls Jesus as the Lamb of God, the perfect Lamb of God. And so Jesus, after his ascension to heaven, the book of Acts mentioned that he sat at the right hand of God. And then he did his mediatorial work, according to Hebrews, he entered into the most holy place. Now, if you can recall, the earthly sanctuary, which was shown by God as a pattern from the heavenly sanctuary, is consisted of the, consisted of the outer court, the inner court, the most holy, and at the holy place and the most holy place. And there inside the uh, holy place and the most holy place are furnishings which are described in the book of Exodus as well as in Leviticus as well as in the book of Hebrews. So that, let us go back then to the question that we are trying to answer. Is there a heavenly sanctuary? From what we can deduce from our reading today, it appears that there is a heavenly sanctuary which was given by God to Moses to copy and Jesus did his mediatorial work for our sins until he comes again so right now we have established that Paul clearly clearly uh, uh, narrated that Jesus is working in the most holy place in the heaven heavenly sanctuary to meditate as a mediator for our sins even until now, until He comes again. You can read the, the next uh, few verses in chapter 9 for your convenience. Let us now go to the book of Revelation, chapter 11, verse 19. There are many people who would say that there is no heavenly sanctuary, and I beg to respectfully disagree. Hebrews 11, verse um, 19. Now, as I've said earlier, a sanctuary can also be called temple, uh, tabernacle, and also uh, a place of refuge. But in this case, we're talking about God's dwelling place. Revelation eleven nineteen. Then the temple of God, talking about the seventh trumpet, the kingdom of God proclaimed in the heavens, then the temple of God was opened in heaven, and the ark of his covenant was seen in his temple. Now, John was given a vision from heaven that uh, the ark of the covenant was shown. Now, remember the ark of the covenant in the earthly sanctuary in the book of Exodus, chapter 25, is inside the most holy place, which Moses copied from God's instruction according to the pattern in the heavenly sanctuary. And so, it continues. The, and the Ark of His Covenant was seen in, in His temple, meaning God, and there were lightnings, noises, thunderings, an earthquake, and great hail. So, this verse gives us an anchor that, indeed, John saw the Ark of the Covenant is real in the heavenly sanctuary. And there are people who say, Oh, there is no need for a temple in heaven because you cannot specify the most holy and the holy and the most holy place in heaven. I would say to you that Moses copied what he saw, the vision given by God, from heaven. Therefore, Moses saw it, Paul saw it, and now John the Revelator saw it, that there is that heavenly sanctuary in heaven. And so, the Bible writers are also using the temple or the sanctuary as a metaphor, like Paul would say, our body is the temple of God. There is no doubt he is using that metaphor. And also, uh, the book of Revelation is saying that God is the temple in heaven, using as a metaphorical language. But there is no doubt, dearly beloved, indeed, that there is a heavenly sanctuary which God had built and Moses had copied from God's instruction. The implication of this is that all the biblical truth, truths are harmonized because of this 
um, wonderful revelation by God to all of us that He works through human beings showing us His wonderful plan of redemption. I have no doubt in my heart as well as in my mind that indeed God had a great plan of redemption even before the foundations of the earth. So, is there a heavenly sanctuary? I believe from the biblical readings today it may not be very exhaustive or uh, thorough and detailed but I believe that there is because God had instructed the great prophet Moses he had shown it to the Apostle Paul and to the beloved uh, uh, disciple of Jesus John and also Jesus himself is Mediate, mediating for our behalf in the heavenly sanctuary. Continue to study your Bibles so that you will understand God's plan for your life. May God bless you today.